Well, right now, the Southwest Florida Water Management District is monitoring water levels all across Tampa Bay. That includes conditions along the Withlacoochee River. It Interside Investigates spoke with people who live just feet from that river today. District officials say high summer rainfall has left them in a pretty vulnerable position. Investigative reporter Masa Saidi live tonight for us from near the Tampa Bypass Canal. And Masa, that is one of the water control structures that protects pretty much all of us. Yeah, Josh, we're standing outside of this structure. It is responsible for protecting everyone in Tampa and Temple Terrace from flooding from the Hillsborough River. Check out the water levels tonight. It's low. That's good, but it's not the case in other parts of the Bay Area. We live most of the year out in Arizona, which is really, really dry. So it's, it's really seemed extreme here. Jeff Beaudry was trying to escape the monsoons in Arizona, only to run into hurricane season in Florida. Part of the year, he lives in this home right next to the Withlacoochee River. This area is vulnerable to flooding after getting hit with so much rain already this season. It, it does seem like uh, a lot, a lot of rain, but it hadn't bothered us. Uh, it's just part of being in Florida. Right now, the Southwest Florida Water Management District is keeping a close eye on the levels along this river, utilizing some of the 81 water control structures. They're able to manage levels and help protect homes. Uh, taking the kayaks down the river, we see where a lot of people have had, you know, severe flooding in their yards. Beaudry has his home boarded up, but there's good oh, news tonight. Yeah. District officials say as of right now, the saturated area is not in Dorian's path. Still, the district is maintaining level two activation because a slight turn would change everything. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen. It doesn't do any good to worry about it. But we were worried about potential flooding in our neighborhoods, though, so we made sure to go out and check out the water levels for ourselves. And we also met up with officials at Structures to see what they have done to prepare. And Josh and Jen, I can tell you that they are certain that the gates are functioning properly and the generators are ready to go. Live in Hillsborough County tonight, Muscle Society, 8 on your side.